right, Joe, what on earth are you doing there? Oh, hey, Pete, I'm um, just doing a bit of DIY. I want to make sure this whiteboard doesn't fall down. You're a jack of all trades, aren't you? Well, I'll do my bit for the college, of course. Oh, good on you. What on earth is that round your neck? It's a Huddersfield town scarf, of you course. Don't, you yeah, don't support Huddersfield? Well, I know, but they got promoted this year, so I'm just kind of jumping on the bandwagon a little bit, I suppose. But, well, uh, I don't blame you. I don't think you're going to be the first to do that or the last. Anyway, what have you got next? What lesson have you got? You wouldn't believe this. I've actually got to teach PPC production Ooh. possibility curves. Ooh. And I've been waking up in a cold sweat all night because I know my economics group, they're going to just absolutely grill, grill me on it. And I'm trying to think, what's the best angle to actually go to, to go through to in, in actually How long have you got? How long have you got to lesson? Right, I've got about 15 minutes. Okay, I reckon we can do a little job on that. Are you ready? All right, let's go for it. Right, got a pen? Uh, I do, I've got a black pen here. Okay, so what should I do? Get, get, get some axes up. Right, okay, so let's go here and let's go and we need here. two. We need two products. What have we got? Drill. Drill, Drill okay, yeah. well, well I was doing some DIY, yeah. so let's go drill. And what's that? Yeah, Huddersfield Town Scarves. Right, so we'll HTFC. just put HTFC for Huddersfield Town Football Club. Right, where do we go next then? What do you reckon? Well, I'm thinking this is just, it's the same as a demand and supply diagram, isn't it? No, 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 no. Don't you dare say that. Right, okay, I'm not doing anything. If I see a P and Q on that, it's a straight line through it. It's a zero. Really? Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, this is a production possibility curve, so it's going to show the different combinations of two products that can be made with different resources. It's that one with the bow. Okay, so yeah, let's... Yeah, pop your bow on. Let's put my bow on, so we'll go like that. Okay. Coming back now? Yeah. Coming back, is it sort of coming back into your head? Um, but, I mean, this, this curve, I mean, I'm familiar with that, but what... What does this curve represent? Right, cheap. put a little X somewhere up towards the, uh, towards n near to the drill. Okay, so let's go say here. Get a line going across, and then bring it down. All right, tell me what you're doing. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is, is that this point here marks the combination of drills and scarves that can be produced by, say, we'll just say England, if England only produced two products. So this let will indicate this is A and this is B. This is the quantity of drills that can be produced, but at the same time, B is the quantity of scarves that can be produced as well. So you can see that our country, England, is um, allocating the majority of its resources towards manufacturing yeah, that's a, that's drills. That's a strange decision. Why, why have you put it so up, so far up there? Uh, well, I'm thinking, say, I know the weather's not great, but if you think <laughs> about uh, people's fascination with DIY now, like I've been doing some DIY in the classroom, so people are probably doing it at home as well. Do, do you know what I do, though? Look at, look, look at your neck. Look okay, what you've got yeah. on your neck. You've got a yeah, little scarf. Yeah. scarf. Promoted, I reckon we should allocate a few more resources to uh, to those scarves. Okay, so let, let's let's go with a point down here on the PPC. So we're just going to label this PPC. It could also be called, I've heard the word PPF, Production yeah, yeah. Possibility Frontier yeah. used. We'll call it PPC. So let's go for this point down here, There's this X. Now this point indicates the new combination of resources can be, that can be used to produce scarves and drills. So we'll just draw our dotted lines to each axis. And now we can see, and we'll call that C, and we'll call that D. Right, we made a few changes here, so we've, we've allocated our resources in a slightly different way, haven't we? Absolutely. So, so what's happened to the HTFC scarves? Well, basically what we've done is we've now increased our production of scarves from B up to C, and we'll put an arrow in to indicate that increase. But because of that increase, or that reallocation of resources to producing scarves, we've had to now sacrifice the production of drills and that's gone all the way down to D because this is the maximum amount that we can produce, the maximum combinations of drills and scarves we can produce. We can't produce any more than D and C at that point. Ah, now we've got a little concept there, haven't we? So we've given up something between A and D. Absolutely. We can actually maybe say it's the opportunity cost. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so the opportunity cost of increasing our production of scarves from B to C is actually the, the amount that we've decided to give up of producing drills and that's that area between A and D, that volume. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's a good first half an hour of your lesson. Going to do anything else today? Right, well I'm thinking that if they're okay with that so far we could actually look at what would happen, just say, if the country now invested more capital equipment in the production of scarves. So just scarves, not drills? Just scarves. So the, okay. the, so the capital that they've invested can increase the production of scarves but not affect drills. Okay, give it a go. Okay, so what I'm thinking would happen here is there's going to be a brand new PPC created now it's going to start at the same point as before with drills because we can't increase our production of drills but we can potentially increase our production of scarves nice. and we'll call that PPC1. Okay, so we, we can produce more 
HGFC scarves. What about if the decision had been made to put it into drills instead of the scarves? Okay, so if it had been the opposite way and we could we invested capital into production of drills, the PPC would start at this point here, and I'm just going to use my finger to um, draw the imaginary line. The ball would go up towards here, and it would hit a new point on the axis indicating I, drills. I know I'm perhaps pushing it a bit too far for, for one lesson that's coming up. But <laughs> give me a break. Give me, give me yeah, a yeah. I'm getting a bit worked up here. Let's say, say you have a situation where more capital went into both drills and HSTC scarves, a sort of fairly similar amount. Okay, so if, for example, the country now on a whole can produce more drills and more scarves, you would see a shift outwards in the PPC on both sides. So it would be basically an identical shift which would move out towards here. Oh, do you know what? I think you're going to absolutely nail this lesson. I'm so impressed with what you've just done now. I'm going to offer you a prize. You can have whatever you want. You can have chocolate, you can have some beers, you can have a, a ticket to the cinema. What can well, I get you? Okay, well, at the moment, I'm just about to finish up Dambisa Moyo's Winner Take All, so I'm thinking I need to move on to a new book. So how about Paul Krugman, End of Depression now? Come on, let's go and get it. Come All on, right. I'll race you there. <laughs>